too and welcome to my channel so i'm pretty sure you just saw all these comments and if you followed my journey on instagram youtube or twitter you were probably one of those people that commented one of your things i always want to be as honest with you as possible and today i want to share with you guys a really really personal thing that happened in my life and that happened after my super big video that hit over a million views by the way thank you so much i can't believe i hit a million views after this video got big and i want to talk about what happened after everyone was super worried about me because i was super skinny i was extremely skinny pretty much after i filmed the video and uploaded until now i was struggling with anorexia <sighs> so this happened to me it happened to me because Everything I did in a video, everything I talk about in a video of how I lost weight, I did that. It worked for me. It worked for me and I got all skinny and I was so happy about it that I was like, I don't want to stop, you know, you just get lost at some point. If you're not careful, if you don't have people around you that constantly, you know, remind you of how beautiful you are, that you don't need to be super skinny to be accepted and you got lost and that's what happened to me after I uploaded the video I continued eating like that I ate less and less and at some point I was about 44 to 42 kilograms which might be like less than 90 pounds I saw your comments all the time I saw you guys worrying about me the weird thing about anorexia is that you feel fine you feel like everyone besides you is insane for worrying about you because you feel like you have the perfect body, there's nothing to worry about, there's nothing to be scared of. December actually, in December 2015, I started feeling like I'm gonna faint throughout the day. I woke up and I was like, I can do this, I feel fine. I went to do my daily workout because I still did my one hour workout, but I was like less than 90 pounds, maybe 85. I had no muscles anymore, I had nothing, I was just skinny. My legs were really like chopsticks. Honestly, like, I felt like I was gonna be sick. I couldn't even eat, like, when I was trying to eat, I just, my body didn't want to digest it. And there were nights where I was actually scared to go to sleep because I thought I wouldn't wake up anymore. I was scared that I would die. I was so skinny that I was scared that I would die. And that's why I skipped, like, two nights of sleep in a row. And some people are like, it's too much information, but I didn't get my period for such a long time because I was too skinny. Like, how bad is that? I was too scared to sleep, guys. I want to thank you guys for caring about me. Even though at that moment, I didn't realize that you guys were right, that everyone else was right. Anorexia is real and you need to get help or you need to help yourself. I managed to get out of it. If you see all those videos of me in LA, the little lookbooks that I was filming and I was uploading and where I was so incredibly skinny, my waist was as tiny as my wrist, pretty much. And I fit in like, triple zero clothes. I was like proud to fit in that stuff and I was okay with feeling like that because I wanted to be skinnier and skinnier. Like I stepped on the scale and I saw the weight going down. I was always scared. I did realize there was something wrong. I did realize that what I was doing was not right. That way I would lose my life if I would continue eating like that, if I would continue living like that and treating my body like that. You know, I got bullied. You know how I got bullied for years and years because I was chubby and because I was overweight. That was the reason why I lost weight in the first place. It's so hard to lose that mindset. I am gonna tell you three main things that helped me so I can kind of help you guys. The first thing is realize your worth. That's so important that you know that you're worthy and that you know that you're beautiful, that you know that you don't need to be skinny in order to feel beautiful. Everything I did in videos, right, I lost weight that way. It was healthy until I took it too far, until I stopped eating, until I started working out more than I ate, more than my body could take. It's so important to realize that in order to feel beautiful, you don't need to be extremely skinny, guys, because that is so dangerous and I experienced it myself. I was scared to sleep. I was scared to go to sleep because I thought I would die. In order to realize your worth, if you can't do that on your own, if you can't build yourself up, find a support system. That's what I did. What does a support does it mean? It means finding a person, your best friends. If it's your mom, your parents, someone, somebody that helps you, that makes you realize how beautiful you are. I did that. I told my boyfriend. He has been supporting me in such an amazing way ever since I was anorexic and he started dating me when I was anorexic. This little bone right here was like sticking out and I was hurting myself. When I was sitting down, it hurt because my bones right here and my butt, they were like touching the ground and I was 
like hurting myself. I got bruises from sitting. I remember Josh telling me that he was kind of scared to hug me super tight because he thought he would squish me. So you need to find a support system. Find someone that helps you realize your worth. Find someone that tells you that you don't need to be super super skinny, extremely dangerously skinny to feel beautiful. You don't need to be skinny at all to feel beautiful. Isn't it weird how you can display a different mood and fake your actual you know, feelings and emotions on social media? Because if you go on all these pictures, I looked fine, I was happy, I was posting happy captions, but what I was actually going on in my life was I was scared of dying and that I was scared that I wouldn't survive until the next day when I would go to sleep because I thought I wouldn't wake up anymore. That was the reality. So how crazy is it that you can fake all that? I want to be real with you guys and that's why I'm telling you this and it's super hard for me right now It is honestly like one of the hardest things I've ever done I'm telling you guys what was really going on after I filmed this video That's why I want to help you guys because I realize if I share my story and if I share how I got out of it then I can help you. That's what I want to do. It's my main goal to help people, to make you guys happy because I want to help you guys. And if there's someone out there, if you're watching this right now, you have anorexia, it is so important to realize that you don't need to be like that. Share what's going on in your life and what's going on in your head and your mind because sometimes the thoughts, they just drive you insane. You don't see reality. You don't see your body like the way other people see it. It is scary. That's why you need someone. You need a support system. The main point is realize that food is not your enemy. Food is what you need to survive, what you need to have energy to get through the day and to just be, you know, energetic, be like, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I couldn't even do that until I really got my life together and with the help of a lot of really sweet people and also myself, you have to make a decision to eat. Obviously, you have to make the decision to, to make a change in your life because if you don't, no one's gonna stuff that food down your throat. I wanna be an open book for you guys because you are the people that watch my channel and I wanna give back to you by sharing my life with you and it means a lot when you guys watch my videos. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for caring, honestly. Thank you so much for staying until here and watching this video and still being here because I want to get back to it. I want to get back to it so I can make this my main job. I love YouTube. I love you guys. And if anyone out there, if you out there, or if you know a friend who's struggling with anorexia, I want to be the person. I want to be your support system. I might not be able to reply to everyone, but to everyone I can, I will reply to. Message me on Instagram, direct message me on Twitter. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and to give this a thumbs up. I love you so much. Stay beautiful until next time. Bye!